must say your enthusiasm brightens my day. I believe that you're the one brimming with enthusiasm. Ridding the world of Emily, Rose, and Carly is just the kind of project that you love. I'm just waiting to find out what kind of role you're going to assign me to play. Barbara, for now, the less you know, the better. You see, since no one needs to know of our connection. So what do I do, sit around and wait? Read about your exploits in the paper? Well, I want you to resume a normal life as soon as possible. As soon as Paul moves out, officially, fire the housekeeper and the gardener. That way, it'll be more difficult to detect my comings and goings here at Fairwinds. Ah, a little something for you. The wheel spins. I don't know this title. Doesn't anyone read anymore? Barbara, think of it as a film. The lady vanishes, or the three ladies that vanish. Poof. You do love your little games, don't you? Bit of a vice. Anything to make you smile. Barbara? I'm in Canada. It's Jack. seem to be making a habit of this. Oh, you don't mind, I hope. No, come on in. N am I interrupting something? Interrupting? Well, I just... I, you're more peppy than usual. <laughs> I, I thought maybe I caught you in the middle of working on something for BRO. Uh, no, no, that seems to be Carly's province these days. No, 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 no hard feelings. Life's too short to carry a burden like that. Once a cop, always a cop. What do you mean? You're giving me the once over, Jack. Maybe there's a reason that I'm so animated today. What's that? James has left the country. Oh, it's funny, Barbara. I came by to tell you that, actually. We found out the stem bag crossed the border into Canada a few hours ago. <sighs> Music to my ears. Oh, I can imagine. But then again, you already knew that. How does that work? Excuse me? Did you have a police scanner in here I don't know about? Because we just found out that Stembeck left the U.S. James was here earlier today. Paul was here, too. It was a very ugly scene. My son and I told his father that we wanted him out of our lives forever. I see. So Stembeck turns tail and says, I'm off to Canada. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, Jack. What is this? You should be as happy as I am about it. I am. There is one problem, though. You always seem to be dealing with problems, don't you? Yeah. I still can't figure out what Stembeck was doing here in the first place. And now that he's gone, I wonder if he got what he came for. I don't give a damn about his motivations. All I care about is that he left me alone. It's the first good thing that's happened to me since the accident. Paul and I are safe. <clears throat> and we both have to get beyond this. You have to heal as well, too, Jack. <clears throat> I know. <coughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. Are you all right? Yeah, but, you know, I could use a cup of water, actually, if you don't mind. <coughs> Be right back. Soon. You must have found what you were looking for. Take me out of the room so that you could rummage through my belongings. 
I meant no disrespect. I didn't come here to pry. Of course you did. That's the only reason you come here. Oh, I'm sorry, Barbara. I know how much you value your privacy. Isn't the suspect's right to privacy the first thing the cop throws out the window? You're not a suspect, Barbara. But I am looking for answers. Stand by coming to Oakdale and then mysteriously leaving has me scratching my head. I can't help looking for clues about what he was after. You won't find any clues here, Detective. Now, you'd feel better if I did. And why is that? Because if James didn't get what he was after, he'll be back. If he tries to contact you again... I'll call. You can let yourself out. A do-gooder. What a nuisance. He's also a good detective. It won't matter. Hmm. Hello? Kim, how nice to hear your voice. I... I don't think I possibly could accept a visitor. Well, maybe just for a short while. Lisa, too. All right, I will expect you shortly. Auntie Kim requests an audience. They want to talk to me about some kind of benefit for the hospital. Perfect. Entertain them. And by the time they leave, the uh, good ladies of Oakdale will be well convinced that you're on the mend. Do you really need this? These are my lifelong friends and family. They know me. I don't want them observing me too closely. Or... Barbara, I want the world to see you for what you're about to become. What are you doing? No more veils. 